Uh, you're going to get the actual assembly and some instructions, which I've already got out of there. Um, perfect. What's up everybody? I am going to install the Lowrance Kayak uh, scupper hole mounting kit for my uh, Lowrance Hook 7. Um, I'm putting it on a Perception Pescador Pilot. Uh, I've never installed one of these before. Don't know how hard, how easy it's supposed to be. They say it's simple. Um, so I guess you guys are going to learn with me. I figured might as well make a video that way if anybody out there is thinking about doing it or if they think well that might be too you know complicated or too much too time consuming i'm just going to do the swing arm mount you know that's what i had before this so this will be my first one that's actually mounted through the scupper hole and we'll see how this works out but uh, i ordered this for about 38 bucks from ack.com um not a whole lot to it this is what the box is going to look like right here um, basically what you're going to get when you order it is going to be your instructions. Hopefully they're good. Looks like you've got your cap and your assembly. And that's it right there. So we're going to put this to the side over here. And I'm going to take off the netting up front. We'll put that to the side because the actual scupper hole for the mount is up front on the pilots. Uh, got my transducer right here. And let's see what it says for the first step. I believe the first step is going to be for a down scan the skimmer it's telling you to basically put your plastic washers your your teeth washers uh, whatever they want to call that and they're going to install it on the bottom part of your assembly here so what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece off right here see if we can unscrew that now this is all of this is plastic nylon plastic whatever you want to call it, this nylon threaded uh, thingamajig here so it should be fairly simple it looks pretty straightforward let's see if we could ever get this off these are very small threads and once we get this off, here we go. Make sure to set that aside, trying not to lose anything. This is your bottom assembly right here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take our hardware that we got with our uh, transducer and we're gonna mount this sucker in there just like this. All right, so we will take the toothy washers which I've got right here and we're gonna line those up like so All right We've got those lined up like yeah and we are going to pop that into place over them and kind of get them if you line them up get them on there slide that over it literally just clicked into place just now i don't know if you guys can see that but literally just clicked right into place right over that and then from there we are going to take our 
the rest of our assembly, which I've got a couple rubber washers, a couple metal washers, and we are going to stick it through there. So, you guys, I want to just apologize for the lighting. If this video, you know, the lighting sucks and you guys can't see nothing, give me a big old F you in the comments if you want because. I didn't have time to do this during the day and I'm hooking my transducer up so I can go fishing in the morning so it's getting done tonight whether it likes it or not and if you guys want to watch you feel free to watch all right now that we've got all that put on there and I can already tell you my uh, assembly look how see how that sticks out like that I'm probably gonna have to end up getting a hacksaw to that and cutting that off uh, to get it to fit up in there flush. We'll see how it goes, but that's what it's looking like to me. Um, step six here, it's showing that we're going to take the nylon thread. We're going to thread it down into Okay. It's telling us now to take the nylon thread Okay, push it, put it down into our assembly that we've already got going here, like yeah, just like that. I don't know how far, it doesn't really say how far to go, so I'm assuming it just means put it down in there a little ways. Uh, I'm going to go until it stops, just to be safe. And then we're putting on, this is a foam piece, and it's shaped just like our bottom piece right here. So we'll take the little wing nut off the top. So we're going to go ahead and slide this down just like it's asking us. All the way down. Match it up. And then we're going to take our big foam piece, and we're going to take it and put it with the notch facing outward. So this has got a notch right here, and it's going to be facing this mess. So here we go. We're going to slide that on, put that all the way on there right there. If you guys can see, all those slots are lining up. That's what it looks like. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to feed our wire all the way up through the scuffer plug, or our cable, I should say, wire. So we're going to take our 400 feet of cable, we are going to let me take you guys with me. We're going to take it down here and we're going to find our scupper that we're looking for, the one that we're going to put it through, which I don't know if you guys can see, but that's going to be right there. Right. And then, as you can see, it's telling us to feed that, put the wire, the cable through this right here, and feed it up through there. So, that's what this notch is for. Mine comes out the back, so I'm going to take it and I'm gonna push it all the way up through there just like that. See? Nice and pretty, nice and tight. Just like my old lady. Here we go. Alright, now let's feed it up there. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's going to fit. Alright, so now that that's on there and I'm holding on to it with one hand, we are putting that cap on. Let's see what that looks like. It looks like this little guy right here, okay? It's got some notches. We're putting it on there just like this. Just how well you can see, but we're going to put it on just like this, and we're going to put this on over the top. I'm just pushing that down as hard as I can, and then I'm going to secure it with this plastic wing nut. It's going to make me tighten this wing nut all the way down so I'm not gonna make you guys watch this uh, I got it back I had to go inside and put a jacket on because I'm about to freeze my taters off out here it's freaking cold I'll tell you what uh, I got it almost where I want it I'm gonna let you guys see this and I'll show you what this looks like let me show you guys how this looks I got a light now make it a little bit better for you Okay, 
that's what our assembly is going to look like all right i don't have it tightened down all the way i was just showing you guys that nylon thread that's the tightest damn thread i've ever seen in my life okay i will tell you guys this is by far the hardest part of the whole thing is putting this wing nut on this time if any of you guys have this set up and this assembly uh comment below and let me know how long you've had it and if you've had any problems with it if you've had to replace anything if the wing nuts backed off uh, i'm curious to know because i just don't know man it's it's iffy okay that is what it looks like once it's tightened down flush and then here is the underside of course i haven't adapted or i haven't you know changed the angle of it and whatnot which i will do but as you can tell it doesn't hang down lower you know it's it's gonna be good uh should be good man should be good and good and ready to go so let's go on to the next step so i am going to get down to it and i am going to clip it off just like that can't even hold on to it just like that clipped off the excess and now we're going to get our cap pop our cap out And this thing looks pretty straightforward also. It don't uh, don't look hard at all. It looks like we're just gonna pop that some bitch in just like that. There she is. Okay. And on the perception here, what I'll do is I'll run my cord right up in through there. Right into there where I'll keep my battery and everything else. So that's it guys i mean hell that was pretty damn simple to be honest with you i mean if you don't mind standing there for 15 20 minutes and cranking on a cranking on a uh wing nut for a little bit that's fucking that fuck that's it that's easy as shit man so you let you guys see what this looks like as a finished product it ain't uh it ain't much to it got it in runs up that side just like that pops out this side just like that and run right down my rail here right into the back that's it man so hey guys i appreciate you watching sorry for the shadows the the shitty video um i appreciate if you haven't done it already if you haven't done it already like subscribe notify all that good shit hey, yo, you swear that you the illest but you ain't ill as us and you swore that you was chilling but that shit wasn't drugs and if you ain't on no records you got no playing clubs fuck your warning and your message cause we ain't scared of thugs